I wanted to give you a few exercises to make sure you understand the difference between a language that is regular, context-free, but not regular, and not even context-free. So I'm going to give you a few examples, of three exercises, and in each one you should consider whether or not the language is, so I'm going to give you a language, and then I'm going to ask, is this language regular? Is this language context-free? but not regular, and is this language uh, not context-free? So those are the three possible answers. And let's look at the language L1. Language L1 is just saying that all words must contain only A's and B's, and their length has to be divisible by three. So let's try to do that. Please pause the video. Okay, uh, so what is the solution that you gave? This is mine. Uh, the language is in fact regular and it can be given by the following regular expression where I first read an A or a B and I do that three times uh, and so that gives me a, any uh, word of length three and I do that either zero or more times which means I'll get a multiple of, of three or zero. So the answer is this uh, regular expression and I give you as homework to try to do the equivalent DFA and NFA from this regular expression. Okay, so now for exercise two, let's look at what the language is. And the language is saying that Z has the same number of A's and B's. So try to think, is this language regular? And if it is not, is it context-free? And if it is not, is it not context-free? Um, so please pause the video and try to answer yourself. Okay, so this is, whoops, let me just one second. So the answer is given, um, the answer is that the language is context-free but not regular. If you think about it, um, this would be very easy to, to break using the pumping lemma because you have the same number of A's and B's. That means, for instance, you could have the, the string, um, the, pump, the string that we're gonna pump will, would be, have a, a sequence of A's followed by a sequence of B's and as you remember from the proof of A uh, a sequence of A's followed by a sequence of B's um, the proof that we use the proof structure that we use to prove that la that language is not regular can also be used in this uh, exercise as well to prove that language L2 is not regular um, so if it is not like regular, is it context-free or not context-free? It is context-free because we can give a language that recognizes it. And this is the language I gave. Uh, this follows. So this is all. And the idea is that you're going to either um, add something on the left. And if you add an A, now you have to have a B or you add an A. What is this? B, if you had B's, B's, you had B's. <sighs> this is also wrong. Okay, this is also wrong. 